Hey guys, it's Uncle Croc, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we started the Forest Temple. In this episode, we're gonna progress further. Maybe beat it? Who knows? I'll try. Okay, anyway, we're gonna take our slingshot out and beat these wall chillers here. Jump across the gap. I don't think we need anything down below, we're just gonna jump up here. Uh, there's a door here, but I want to go and defeat that Deku like like first. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't planning to get the chest, but I guess I will now. <laughs> so yeah, there was a chest back here. Let's open it up. So here we got our second piece of heart. Nice. Alright, so let's head back all the way up to the top and we have to enter that door. If I can go around this route... Link is, uh... scared of roots, I guess. I have the hiccups, and the hiccups made me jump off there. God dang it. What a time for the hiccups, eh? <laughs> Alright, so let's head back up here. Through this, and the monkey just fell. He just fell, okay. <laughs> let's head up here into this door. So we got an enemy in here that uh, I had some trouble beating whenever I was practicing. I didn't understand that I was an idiot. <laughs> so it's got a small key, but then it just ate it. Okay. And gave it to the Deku-like-like -like at his base. So this is called a Big Baba. So basically all we have to do to kill it... ...is just... ...hit it with our sword. Easy as this. Oh, but we, we like hit each other at the same time. Okay, come on. Come on. It's a lot stronger than the other, uh... Deku's. Maybe I have to hit him at his base? Let's try it. There we go, he's de defeated. It takes a lot of hits, I guess. So, this turns into a Deku-like-like. -like. Opens up its mouth. The same thing that we have to do, uh... Same, same thing that we did with the other Deku-like-likes. -like. So we just throw a bomb in its mouth. Like that, and it has a long cutscene of it dying. Yo, I'm gonna go over here and see if there's any rupees that I can get. The monkey's just running in place. Okay, we got a heart there that I can pick up though. I like to be full on hearts, it's always good. Let's see. Nothing? Alright, let's go just pick up the key then. Pick it up. There we go. Alright, so we can go open this door now. With the monkey inside. Save the monkeys! Okay, so let's just leave now. I believe we have to go back to the center room. Yep, that's where we have to go. Let's go, monkeys! Center room's not too far away anyway. Just to the left. Right over... down here. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Let's head back here now. Can't go through the door up top yet. Uh, we just can't. So, we'll go across here on this little... I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Monkey swing, I guess? And, uh, I guess we have to follow them. So let's... Let's try it. Oh man, it's so... Such a... A party of monkeys here. Oh my god, they're so obnoxious. So now we can get across this gap. Thanks to the monkeys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just like a circus of monkeys. A, a balancing act or whatever you call it. There we go. Thanks to the monkeys, we're through. So let's head up here through the door. What do you think's gonna happen? Alright, we've got a bunch of hearts here, so something big has to happen. This is the door that Ook went into, remember? So, this is the mini-boss of the dungeon. And I think it's a pretty clever mini-boss, too. Having a baboon as the mini-boss is just so... It, it fits the theme so well. And this is where the uh, pillar stuff comes into play. Look at his butt! Just so red and just a butt. Okay. So we got a bunch of Baba serpents up above. 
which is a pain, but we'll take care of it, because we are Zelda, right? We're Zelda? <laughs> Stop slapping your butt, it's, ah, it's jiggling everywhere. Alright, let's... Let's take them out with one hit, I guess. So, if you guessed that we have to hit the pillars, run into the pillars while he's on it, you guessed right. Just like that, and then we're gonna do a bunch of jump attacks at his... his butt. So like this, since I believe uh, jump attacks are the strongest in the game. Okay, just follow him, see where he goes on the pillars. Always... Always stay in the center, because that is the closest. God dang it! Don't target him, though. Okay. Oh, he just dropped some... He dropped a Baba Serpent. It's gonna be coming up soon. Okay, so let's just hit his butt some more. Is he dead already? Yep, that's the power of jump attacks. <laughs> so it turns out that... The baboon is actually not... A bad guy. He was infected by a, a parasite. I guess it's a Twilight parasite. So he's just gonna get scared and run away, I guess. <laughs> Bye bye. See you later, Mr. Ook. Okay, so he forgot his boomerang though. Where is it? Ah, right there. So the cool thing about this boomerang is that it's like it's infused with a fairy spirit. Fairy of winds. So you're freed free from evil. Now it has true power back. We can take it with us and aid our quest. Basically, it's like wind. If you played this game or you've played uh, Super Smash Brothers. Link uses the Gale Boomerang, and it, uh, l it brings his opponents closer to him if he hits them. So anyway, that's a huge, huge help. So, yeah, Midna's just gonna tell us blah, 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 you know? Oops, that's not the button that I should be pressing. Let's put this on our... that one. And basically what we have to do is... Do that. You have to do it three times, which is a pain, but... It gets you to understand the idea, I guess. One more time, here we go. Where's my Wii remote? Ugh! I should be playing this on like a couch on a TV or something, but I'm playing it on my computer monitor. Alright, so, let's head through now that we have our special tool. So now we don't go back across the, uh... The rope that the monkeys were on. I don't even think they're on there anymore. Let's check. Are they? Nope, they're gone. We have to go over here. If my remote... God dang it. That's gonna be a recurring theme. My remote not see being picked up. So I just hop across here, we have another monkey. Uh, by a bokoblin. Can I finish him? Yeah, let's finish him. I love finishing. So, so awesome. So anyway, the way that we get this... Is be able to point your Wii remote at the screen and then hit that with the boomerang. So we freed our what fifth monkey? Two more to go. Two more to go. So anyway, I'm not gonna be able to keep my Wii remote underneath my desk anymore. You're gonna hear a lot of a lot more button clicking. Ah, uh, come on, Minna. I don't need to hear you speak. So we got a bunch of uh Ooh! I can actually do this! Let's see if I can do it without battling the keys. Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. So, now we're done with this outside area. Okay. So now we're back in this room. I th think we have to go to the center room now, right? No, we have to go back over to this room. I'm an idiot. But yeah, we have to go back to the tile worm room first, and then back to the center room. And then, yeah, just run into the door a bit, it helps you a lot. Alright, so... Basically what we can do with the tile worms is just send out our boomerang like this and it'll send them flying. Uh, we can beat them in two hits. Or wait, three, four hits, holy crap. They're strong, but yeah, put them in the water and they'll die like that. They give us five roops each though, that's awesome. Let's go up. Uh... Do this. 
take down one of those. We don't really need to take down the other. We can go over here and get a chest. Ignore these guys, they don't matter. Ah, I just do that again, why don't you? So here we have the third piece of heart. Two more to get a full container. But anyway, let's head back to the center room again. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the way that we get there is just... Back the other way we came. Through this door. And then straight... Straight ahead. As you can see on the map. We can just go down here, I think, right? Yep. The door should be right over here. Oh, the serpent! Serpent! Hello, Sherbert. Head through the door. And now, what we can do now is get that chest that was hanging, remember? Thank you, monkey, for your help. Okay. There we go. Now, this chest contains an, a, a valuable item. We got the compass. So, yeah. Not really... We don't really need it right now, honestly. Well, maybe we do. Okay, so, oh yeah, because we can see the monkeys. So I believe we head across over here again. Let me just double check. Yeah, swing to this side. It's kind of like a maze, I guess. Whoops. And uh, there's some chests in here that we can get. The, the big chest, though, as you can see on the map, it actually has a different uh, texture. I don't know why Nintendo would have made a second spot that we can climb across, because Honestly, this way is so much faster to get over. Those ivy, I do not like frigging, uh, doing that. So anyway, you look on the floor, there's a pattern. And what does that pattern mean? It means that's what you have to hit these. So you have to go in like a Z pattern o over here. And basically it's like a Z, because I guess Z lock is what you do. Which is pretty cool. Kind of gives a subtle hint at what you're supposed to do to each of them. We open this chest, which is an awesome looking chest. We get... The big key. It looks so cool in this game. It looks amazing. So... Over here, there's another chest on our map. Uh, right over here. Not really super important. But... We need it. Because it's... Ten Roops. Yeah, so we... We, uh... I was just taking a drink of my lemon water there. But anyway, we need those uh, rupees for something later on within the next area of the game. So let's just climb on up here. Up this stupid ivy. We actually have to go in the door over here. Again? A lot of backtracking, that's for sure. Alright, so. Oh, it was- it'll do it by- by itself, so, yeah. So the monkey here is gonna help us. Help us out. Oh yeah, this room, I, uh, forgot what this room was. This is the room that we couldn't get through earlier, remember? Because we didn't have the boomerang. So what we're gonna do... ...is do this, and then... ...we're not gonna spin it again, we're actually just gonna go straight. Because why not? And the monkey tells us to, so... YOLO, am I right? Uh, I'm gonna... Smash these open for some roops and stuff. I could use a fill up on my heart meter. And there we go, six rupees. I guess it's worth it. Let's go, monkey. Alright, so this is the main monkey room. As you can see, the monkeys are going to reunite here. So we have three monkeys to go. I thought we only had two. I was wrong. Minna's going to tell us the monkeys are there. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we're going to head to the right. Okay, I'm gonna make this, you know, obvious, whatever. Move these, defeat the Bokoblin up here. Okay, more ivy. How fun is this, guys? Super fun. Okay. Take those guys out with your boomerang. It's a lot easier to do it that way. That was weird. I thought I saw something drop, but I guess I didn't. Let's head up these, because we see on our mini-map, right here, there's a purple icon, which is a monkey, I think. <laughs> I may be wrong. But anyway... After seven days of climbing the ivy, Link made it to the first platform. He noticed he has to climb more ivy. How fun. 
Link started crying, because he doesn't like climbing ivy. Anyway, let's just keep moving. Holy moly. Oh, that purple icon is the boss, actually. I'm a dummy. The red icons are, uh... Uh, monkeys. So there's really nothing over here except one rupee. Let's defeat the Bokoblin. Finish him! Do it, Link! There we go. Always finish with style. That's the way you have to do it. Okay. Pick up the roop, and let's head through the door. Right, so we got some Baba Serpents in here. No? Yeah, there we go. This is a uh, neat... Oh no, he's gonna grab us! Oh, he's gonna try to get back onto the friggin... Kill him! Oh, they're gonna try to get back onto their friggin' plant. Alright, so... First of all, we see a boulder up there, but we also see a Deku-like-like -like over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the Deku-like... like... first. And what we do is we gotta grasp onto this guy, bring him over to us, and throw him in! Like that, to get o to get to the chest. Chest is pretty important. We need it, so... yeah. Alright, so, jump across... oh! Open up the chest, if I can. And then we get a small key. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Kind of a cliffhanger moment, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna complete the forest temple 100%. I know we are. I'll see you then.